Hey, hey, everybody. So my guest today is Katarina. She's the founder of Audext, an automatic transcription software to convert your audio files to text. So as always, we would like to hear more of the founding story and the strategies that accelerated that growth success. Katarina, are you ready to take us to the top? Uh, yeah, sure. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hey, Katarina. So can you tell us a bit more about who you are and Audext? How would you describe it? Um, so I'm, uh, I guess, a serial entrepreneur now, uh, but uh, now I'm developing Audext. Uh, it's an uh, audio to text uh, transcription app. And uh, uh, I founded it as a single non-technical founder. And it's been, I think, uh, two years now since launch. Uh, and I've, it's been quite a journey <laughs> so far. Okay, cool. So what's the exact business model of Audext? How are you making money? Uh, so uh, the business model is uh, freemium and a mix of the subscription and uh, pay-as-you-go models. Uh, and uh, when user has more than three hours to transcribe, it is uh, cheaper for him or her to subscribe or to transcribe. Um, and the uh, um, funny thing is that uh, many people still buy uh, uh, purchase uh, the uh, uh, pay-as-you-go model, like when uh, they they have uh, 10 hours, so they just buy 10 hours instead of subscription. And it's still um, an interesting uh, um, knowledge for me. So tell us, how did you start the business? Take us back to those early days when you came up with the idea. Um, yeah, sure. So um, I was always uh, bewildered with uh, SaaS companies. Uh, I started my career uh, in uh, in this sector uh, from SEO department as a link builder and uh, soon made my way to the owner of the boutique SEO agency, but I always wanted uh, something of my own and my own SaaS product uh, and to be in a, a non-technical person uh, with uh, such a desire, it was uh, quite ambitious. and. Um, in a couple of years, uh, I uh, decided to launch uh, also a podcast, uh, produced as much as uh, three podcasts, I think. But when I started to search for the solution to transcribe my shows into text, uh, it took me some time to find an automatic solution for an online audio to text uh, transcription. So this way I saw a market opportunity and uh, made, made additional research, uh, hired uh, first developers. Uh, it uh, was a disaster and uh, it took, uh, I think, uh, eight months uh, from the idea to launch, uh, but, uh, um, but uh, we launched uh, anyway. So you came up with the idea, I guess by scratching your own itch. Yeah. Then launched a product. Now, how did you get the first users to the product? Um, so uh, since I have, uh, and I have, uh, I still have uh, the uh, operating uh, SEO agency, my uh, focus was on uh, building an app uh, that uh, can be promoted through Google and SEO. Uh, so while we were developing the product, um, we also, my marketing part, uh, uh, my marketing team was promoting the website. And uh, when we launched it, uh, I guess the first uh, customer uh, was uh, made the first purchase in a week since launch. And it was uh, quite uh, a surprise for me because uh, nothing was working <laughs> at the time. And uh, uh, it was an interesting story because he was uh, transcribing the interviews with his um, uh, late uh, grandfather, uh, but um, we ended up um, returning the payment to him. But uh, this way, I saw that uh, my idea works, uh, but we just need uh, to improve it and uh, um, continue on working. Interesting. Yeah. What is your most important acquisition channel to get new customers on board right now? Uh, it's uh, SEO, still SEO. We are uh, ranking in the top uh, for uh, for a number of uh, uh, high volume keywords. So and in different countries. So it's uh, uh, still SEO. Great. What is your most valuable lesson or fail up to this point as a founder? Um, lesson. Uh, um, 
I would say uh, the development of the SaaS product takes time and uh, you should uh, have patience uh, to see the result if uh, you're bootstrapping it. At what stage is Onyx right now in terms of revenue and how much time did it take to get to this point? Uh, now in terms of revenue, it's uh, 5K uh, per month uh, and uh, uh, we launched two years ago, but uh, for the first year it was uh, it was insignificant uh, amount of users and I, I guess uh, uh, we saw the growth uh, since uh, August uh, of the 2020. Love it. Great numbers. Well, Katerina, thanks for sharing the story behind Audex. Now, let's wrap it up with a lightning round of six questions to inspire others. Before we dive into today's lightning round, let's hear a quick word from a sponsor. Do you want to build your product the best way possible? Listening to user feedback is one of the best ways to do just that. Upvoti provides you with feedback boards which you can use internally or share publicly with your users. It also includes a nifty product roadmap. You are getting a 10% discount when you try out their 14-day free trial and subscribe to one of their plans. Use promo code PIRATES and you are all set. Go to upvoti.com and start a 14-day free trial. Now, let's go back to the interview. If you would start a SaaS today, what would be the first action to take? Um, I'd uh, find a technical founder. What are some of your favorite software that you can't live without in running daily operations of Audex? Uh It's uh, Slack, uh, Evernote for planning, uh, and uh, I guess uh, our payment system, Fastspring, uh, to see uh, the growth of numbers. Yeah, you have to have a payment provider, right? Yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite app on your phone? Uh, it's uh, Syncuition. It's an um, app with uh, audio meditations, uh, and I like uh, to use it on a daily basis. What is your favorite book that you would recommend to people that are starting in SaaS? Uh, I think uh, it's uh, for me it's um, Atlas Shrugged uh, by Ayn Rand. Uh, it's more for uh, uh, all uh, entrepreneurs, uh, and it's an inspiring book for me. What SaaS brand do you admire the most? Uh, Hrefs uh, for uh, SEO people. It's I think a number one solution to promote websites, and it's a SaaS brand uh, that uh, I like uh, in terms of uh, team, uh, product, and the value they uh, bring. And what about your favorite SaaS person to follow or read? Um, I like uh, everything about uh, Lampard and I think uh, Guillermo, uh, it's, it's inspired, his inspiring stories about uh, launching uh, three uh, SaaS uh, products at a time, then making uh, uh, one of them to more than a million of ARR and, uh, um, and uh, selling other business. So I like, uh, and I like uh, the idea that all of them were bootstrapped. Well, great, Katerina. Thanks for your time today and sharing your story with us. To conclude this interview, where can we learn more about you and Audex? Uh, for uh, well, uh, about the Audex, basically on the Audex uh, Audex uh, com. About me, uh, I guess um, on uh, Facebook or LinkedIn, I'm there. I'm go. I go there by Katerina Mironyuk. And uh, I also wrote a book about uh, building uh, uh, SaaS uh, without um, previous um, um, some previous experience or t- technical experience, and it's uh, available on Amazon. Uh, uh, and uh, the name of it is uh, "Build and Launch a Profitable SaaS Business." <laughs> Thanks for listening to this episode of the SaaS Pirate Show. We hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please leave us a review to help get this podcast out to more people like yourself. Also, if you're into SaaS, come and join the awesome SaaS Pirates community on Facebook. We would love to see you there. For now, take care.